I'd like to tell you about the field of organizational communication because I have found that a lot of people don't know what it is. In fact, not long ago, I was at a party and a man asked me what I did. Or he knew I had a PhD and he says, what's your PhD in? And I said, uh, organizational communication. And he goes, oh, public speaking, we don't need that. We, we do that. And, um, and so I, my initial reaction was to say, wait a minute, that's not what we do. But then I felt like I'd be defensive, and so I found somebody nicer to talk to. <laughs> but in case you don't know what the field of organizational communication is, uh, it is not public speaking. That's generally done in the uh, speech department, in the rhetoric department in most universities. Your writing, communication in writing, is either done in English departments or sometimes there's a business writing course. Organizational communication does everything else. How do we resolve issues? How do we um, move from a place of conflict to somewhere else? And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter the conflict. Whether you're screaming at each other over an election, or the environment, <coughs> or sexual harassment, or age, and you know, we, we've got, we like boxes in America. We got little boxes for everything. And it has occurred to me, most of my programs have people that are all ages look around this room. We've got a wide variety. If there's conflict, it's not so much your age, it's your value. What are we doing in our training programs now? We aren't really looking at values, we're trying to find boxes. So we have a box called sexual harassment. Let me just pick that one out. I've taught it. I've taught it for years. In fact, I'm sick of it. Anybody here sick of sexual harassment? <laughs> I mean, I'm a woman and I'm sick of it. I mean, not the sexual harassment, but the training from it. Let me ask you this question for everybody. How many here have been in sexual harassment training? Do we still have sexual harassment on the job? Yes. Somewhere. It started out as a good idea. It, it was, you know, we, where, whatever um, strides we made, we've made them in that. What we're doing now is no longer sexual harassment. It's a clash in values, I would argue. How many of you have had diversity training? Do we still have diversity issues? <coughs> My argument here is it's no longer the same thing it started out 30 or 40 years ago in our training. It's not that we don't need something. It's not that we don't have the tension or the conflict. We're not handling it where we need to be handling it today. Uh, it's like the <coughs> easiest problems to solve in the workplace are the misunderstandings over facts, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I see, you're right. No, but if you get a clash in values, your whole being is vested in that. And um, so if step one is to begin to develop a skill on listening for values,